Okay, so this is tutorial number two on Uber Surface 2, the new layered surface shader by OmniFreaker. Uh, and I was going to just cover in this video more of the, the new layering functionality to the shader, which, which is really the power of it. Um, there's some really cool stuff you can do with, with the layers. Um, as you as you get creative with it, there's there's a lot of fun stuff you can do. So I was just going to go over some examples of that. So uh, so we've got uh, this the shader applied to a couple of surfaces here to Victoria Four, and now what you can do um, there's also in addition to the subsurface presets, uh, there's a number of uh, these L2 presets, which is layer 2 presets that uh, add a, a second layer to what you've already got. And so what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to pick one of these and all of these different presets use tileable um, maps. So they it's really easy to scale them up and down um, and that kind of thing uh, depending on what you're doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer of dust here to this, this specific one. And so you'll see now that layer 2 is on and it's using a mask blend. You'll see there's multiply add and mask blend. And then it's using one of these tileable maps as the mask. So mask blend means um, it's I have a second layer which has diffuse and specular and all the other components that you would expect, but it's rendered and composited on top of layer one using one of these blend modes. So mask blend means it's going to be basically an over or a normal mask blend in Photoshop speak, but it's just going to be on top of layer one using a mask. So I've added that, and uh, let's 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 just render and see what that looks like. So this is what it previously looked like, and now um, I've got a second layer of dust on there, and you'll see it's the scale is is pretty big on this one. Uh, so one thing I'm going to do is there's these tiling con controls you'll see over here. And in addition to, uh, so I, tiling was available in previous my previous shaders, but now you have three separate tilings. You have the tiling for layer one, you have tiling for the map on layer two, and you have tiling for the mask on layer two. And since this dust is really just generated with a mask, I'm just going to bump this up. bump up the tiling, um, which will, uh, so this, this, this map will repeat 1.8 times, so it'll, it'll, the scale will appear smaller, it'll, and let's see, let's just do some other things, um, well, so I'll start rendering here, and, and you'll, and you'll see pretty quickly that that the, so the scale of the tiling changes. So pretty, pretty obvious there. And, and it looks like she's kind of dusty, dusty, dirty, and the blend strength. So if I want this to be um, less, oh, less opaque, uh, I can, I can bring that down. Um, And and yeah, and so the you'll see less dust there. And then you can you can also start doing all sorts of uh, fun and crazy things. So this doesn't have to be dust. It's really just a mask. So I can I can tweak any of these parameters here. So one thing I can do is I'll turn her into kind of a grotesque zombie type person because that's always fun. So I'll use a kind of reddish 
uh, diffuse color. I'll turn on specular so it can be kind of shiny and wet. Uh, and then what else we do? Um, we'll change this from blend to multiply so it, it, it darkens as it goes. And let's just see what that, that does. And so you'll you'll see now that her her skin's getting all kind of blotchy and gross, and she's looking yeah kind of zombie like anyway, or going that direction. And so more things you can do with the layers is you have a lot of flexibility. Um, I'm gonna make this tighter highlight and another thing I'm going to do um, is another thing you can do is you have con color correction controls over this mask so if I bump up the contrast the blends in the the mask are are not going to be as soft so as I bump the contrast you'll see those patches are kind of harsher, kind of eaten away kind of areas and yeah I think I went a little too far with that so I'll dumb it down but then I can also if I want more of the, the bloody red or less of it I can use the gamma to kind of control that So I can really without having to paint anything, I I still have a lot of control over what I'm getting here. And this is I mean this is with uh, just the default maps I give you too. So there's a lot you can do with with the maps I provided. And so with the gamma I'm gonna go the other direction here a little bit. And um, another thing you can do also, that is kind of cool, is you have bump and displacement on the second layer. And just by turning it on, well, I'll just use bump right now, but just by turning it on, um, you, um, I and so you'll notice I haven't given it a map. There's no bump map, but I'm just bumping out the entire second layer. And but then it's being used by, then the mask is kind of providing or describing where it's getting bumped. So the cool thing about once you have a mask on, I don't even have to provide a bump map. I can just uh, turn on bump and then I should start to see some bump. And you'll see the bump bump in there and so it's starting to get even grosser um, but that's that's the sort of thing that you can you can do with the shader and as you can imagine you can do all sorts of things you can do rust you can do paint you can do um, water puddles all sorts of um, different different things uh, with uh, and I've given you a number of really generic maps like give you all sorts of great effects like scratch paint, metal, stucco, all sorts of things here. So uh, I'll just crank this back up and and I can also invert this so if I want it to look like her flesh has been eaten away rather than sticking out I can just do that and And that looks better. So that looks that looks starting to look pretty pretty nice and gruesome and yeah you can just dial down the opacity if it's a little too much and like I say you have a lot of control with the maps to get a whole range of different effects. Um, hope you like it.